I'm gonna turn on the background music here and uh, get going. Should be a fun stream. second how is everyone doing today everyone having a good day hopefully i'm gonna hope everyone's having a good day if you aren't having a good day tell me why i would love to know what's going on what's up alex smiley foot blue btd 8796 Ali, how we doing? How we doing? How we all doing? Don't trust anyone named Ryan, why not? Why would you not trust me? I'm here, Daddy. Yo, what's up? Enrico, what's up, gamer? What's up, Chilla? Why would you not trust someone named Ryan? What's up, LPZK? Crap, what'd I just do? Fine. How is everyone doing? Yeah, they're nerfing the mortar. Um, in one day, because one day should be when the about patch notes come out. Can't actually see the patch notes in the game, but they are, if I remember correctly, what they're doing is they're making the Shell Shock 1300 instead of 1100. So Shell Shock's $200 more expensive. And they are lowering the artillery battery bonus BD damage by two. So the artillery battery will do two less damage. And they're uh, hurting the decamo of the mortar as well. Yeah, that, that one as well. Hello, Ryan. How's it going, Jordan? So quite a bit of changes. One five eight four eight eight three two one O G U A. It's quite the quite the name right there. From the four twenty squad. Good luck in the game, thank you. Shine it up real good, soldiers. At your service. Yo, how's it going, Chewy Roko? How are you doing today? Okay, we are gonna start with our dartling. Right there. And we will get our Highwayman Jericho on round one as well. Good, how about you? I'm doing pretty good. Highwayman Jericho also getting nerfed in the update. It's gonna um, not price discount the ADs anymore unless you have level 20. And it'll have a longer uh, duration before the steals. Ryan, do you think I can get top 100 in a day? I do not think so. AK Cuber, I have no faith in you, I'm sorry. There's enemy greens here, okay. We're gonna save up for my faster barrel spin. On the dartling. We're good. And we will just continue ecoing. Are right, the other farm done? Nicely done. Oof, Ryan just out here disrespecting his fans. I'm not disrespecting, bro. I'm being a realist, bro. I'm being a realist. Uh, they actually are bringing farm here. I thought they'd be bringing uh, some sort of dart eco strategy. Dart farm. Oh, I, I guess I don't know if it's dart. Might be some. No, it is dart. It is dart. Okay. Maybe dart sniper farm? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Hey, what up, Ranger? How's it going, Taha? Is 
Jericho gives player money, but even Jericho normal in rank. I don't know if you're trying to say Jericho or not, but that's not the way you spell it. It's Sniper or Spack or one of them. Yeah, it could be Sniper or Spack, true. Yeah, we forced boost on their end. Hi, Ryan. How's it going, Nathaniel? How you doing, bro? I'm gonna... They're low. Hmm. I wonder if I can layer and cause some issues on their side. Let me, let me see if I can um, layer on them a little bit. Does this do anything? I don't think it is. No, it doesn't do anything. They have normal Churchill. If they had, if they had Sentai Churchill, that definitely would um, cause some problems. But normal Churchill is just a lot better early game. They're good. They're good. They're good. Okay, we're fine against those yellows. Wait, they aren't good. They're dead. Oh, their Churchill was on first, guys. You don't have your Churchill on first, because what happened there was, since it was on first, the AI balloons came around and messed up their Churchill targeting. And then they got screwed. Then they got screwed. What is that, 28? You want to keep Churchill on last at the start of, on that map. Last targeting is what you should be using with Churchill. Drink water, please. Dude, I'm out. I'm out. I need to fill it up. I have like a sip left. I have a sip. Paper. RNG. Ryan, what's your opinion on how I'm in initial cooldown nerf? Good. Good. Hey, Big Ryan. Good to see you, homie. How's it going, John? Is twitchy. Thanks for streaming, of course. All right, I finally made it to home. Congratulations. Congratulations on making it to home, brother. Hey, Ryan. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. How are you doing? What do you think about Fate Weaver? Fate Weaver is really cool. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, they went Ocean Open. So it's definitely Ninja Elk Farm, I think, from my opponent. Is likely to be their loadout. We're fine. Kevin made it to Hom. Yo, congratulations on making it to Hom, Kevin. And Bull I don't know about the name. I don't know about your name there, Code Bull Tricks. But thank you for the donation, bro. I appreciate that a lot. Appreciate the donation. And Kevin Raid, congratulate. Thank you on the raid, Kevin. Hope you had a good stream, bro. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, brother. We're gonna boost this. What's good, Ryan? How's it going, G-Rod? How you doing today, bro? Welcome to the stream. Cannon ship. It was rough. I get to stream. Snipers and ZMG. Like eSport? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm gonna balloon boost at them. Okay, I forced tower boost on their end. I'll take that. Have you tried turning it off and on again? 
Full screen? Oh, I'm not full screened. There we go. I got you. I didn't realize. Oh no. I'm dead. Wait, why did I- I meant to boost, bro! I meant to boost! I didn't mean to use my level 3 ability. Oh. I clicked the wrong thing. I literally meant to click boost. Bro, what is that? Trolling top 10. I don't really care about a badge. I'm just playing to play. The badge is not important to me. Ryan already throwing games. Yeah. W name from your opponent. Boomer Brain Dia. W name. W name indeed. Do you think about Ninja being met on SOT next season? Maybe. I don't know. You think Battles needs a new hero? They are adding a new hero. They're adding um, Fate Weaver Adora. Your poem beats the worm, by the way. What do you mean beats the worm? All right, let's get my bin humming down. The worm on, worm on round four on this map, so be careful. Okay. Oh, I can't afford my long range yet. Which is typically what I go for here. Long range. Yeah, we're fine. Are you winning, son? Yeah. This might be secret OP, low-key. Yeah, I have no idea who this is. I've got no clue. We'll just keep Maxi going. Get hot shot here. Yeah, I played the early game really poorly last game. This time I've leaked a lot less. And my opponent still bloom boosted at me. Last game I was playing it badly. What is Bass? Bolt Alchemist Spike Factory. That's the loadout I'm bringing right now. I have, I have Prestige 1 on everything. Alright, they use Churchill ability, so they use Churchill ability round 5, which means you can normally balloon boost them um, black balloons round 6 and cause a little bit of havoc. I don't know if it carries over or not, AK Cuber. I'm not sure. Oh wait, they already bought airburst starts. They actually probably are fine with airburst. Well, no, I forced another sub. Forced another sub on their side, I'll take it. So I guess they weren't fine. Yeah, we forced a lot of defense on their side. They got an airburst starts. And another submarine up. I did not get my... Oh! That round was literally a split second too short. I did not get the merchantman income there. That's very unfortunate. I don't think it's a perfect counter. You can kill it late game still. Just not round 30. You should wait. Awesome. Or is the worst tower if you target it in the corner of the map? True. Game over, man. Ninjalk farm does not have 
have the ability to move their perma brew. All right, send some zebras. Let's upgrade long life. They tried rushing me. Okay, we forced a farm cell on their side. I'll take that. I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Overall. Happy with my positioning. Probably get a lead to gold in the next round. Alright, got the lead to gold. Into, I mean, not the lead to gold, the rubber, rubber to gold. Start making some money from that. Forty k, I thought it was twenty. What are you talking about? For the price of what? Yes. Why does NK want to make DK more bad constantly? Well, sub and mortar are two of the best towers in the game, so nerfing them is not necessarily bad at all. I don't know if nerfing the DK was the right route to take, but sub and mortar are definitely two of the best towers in the game. I'm gonna go for another alchemist on our side now. When I use my Benjamin ability, it won't hit my um boat. There we go. By the way, I heard that Angry Worms got flagged today. Yeah, he did get flagged. That he did get flagged today. Apparently, Esport was boosting him. Do you use AFE? Not really. Not really. Not a big fan of AFE. Super Monkey, what is this loadout? Uh, I think they might just be dead. Their Super Monkey does like nothing for them. I guess I can help them against the insides. Bro, what? What does flag mean? Uh, they, the count is basically banned. It got cut, taken off the leaderboard. Alright. Anton. Why did he get flagged? Because he was getting boosted by eSport. Um... Go Star Captain. Who got flagged? Angry Worms. I've never met a balloon I couldn't pop. Are you still doing your games in ELO track? Oh, I forgot to track my ELO. Uh, I guess I could continue it after this game. I think I've won a game and lost a game since I was tracking it.
Yeah, I just don't do it every stream, so I forgot I was doing it this stream. Who got who got flagged? Esport and Angry Worms, I'm pretty sure. I I just said that like three times. What does boosting mean? Bro, <laughs> boosting is intentionally losing games to help someone else's position on the leaderboard. Esport was continuously matching against Angry Worms and intentionally losing to help Angry Worms on the leaderboard, which is against the rules. So you're up 47 score? Okay. So I'm currently 2 1 40 plus 47. Stellar. Yeah, it's cool and all, but what is boosting? Boosting is like when someone rushes you and um you press spacebar and then your towers do more damage. Or attack faster, not do more damage. Bro is the trip dart tripler. Bro's got double trips. Is there a battles to hacker pool? No, you just can't queue if you're flagged. Well, you can do private matches, but you can't queue into ranked if you're flagged. Alright, yeah, I don't know about I don't know about this um I don't know about this defensive setup my opponent's got going on here. I'm hacker, yes we know, Tuxedo. You are indeed a crazy hacker. What is this is this guy playing Battles 1 or something? What is this start spam? And why is he still alive? Now they're dead. Okay. Job done. Let's talk payment. Okay, so I got I was before this game, before this game I was 47 to 1 and now I got 40 so I'm 87 3 1. Hi Ryan, are you taking loadout requests right now? Um, uh, you have to donate to request a loadout. But yes. Yo, GG Anton. Hello Ryan, do you think I'll stay in top 100 if I don't play a match for the day? Right now I'm 84th place. Let me look. You're 84th. Um. Three, six, five, six. Nah, you probably need to get a little higher. I wouldn't say that's safe. You only have like a 50 elo buffer. Did you subtract the 47 elo you lost? Yeah, so um, earlier someone in the chat said, where was it? Earlier someone in the chat said, you went plus 28, minus 41, plus 61, so you're up 47 score. And then I got another um, 40 score for the game after that, so I'm total plus this amount. If that makes sense. 
Yo, James Mercier with the dollar donation. Yo, thank you so much, James. Appreciate that a lot, bro. W's in the chat from man James Mercier. Appreciate that a lot. W's in the chat. Do you think wizard buffs will be good next update with the new Z buffs? Yeah, I think wizard will be pretty solid next update. I do. Let's go farmer village, farmer village, farmer village. We'll go village. We have ignition. They call me a cake tutor. They do call me that. This whole masters restart. Yeah, the leaderboard resets next season. You think Wiz might replace DKMO in certain strategies after the mortar nerf? Uh, yeah, the, sun, the wizard will probably be popular over mortar and some loadouts. Like you'll probably see tack farm wiz a lot more than tack farm, or more often. I'd say. Maybe not more than tack farm mortar. We'll have to wait and see on that, but see it more often. Oh, we leaked the same amount of lives. Wait, I have life advantage. Easy. I have life advantage. Let's go. Unless they have Dartling Druid Village, then they have life rejuvenation. And I'm kind of screwed. But I might just be able to all out them around 13 if they have Dartling Druid Village. Yeah, they have Darling Druid Village. I might just all out them around 13. It normally works. But they're also probably watching the stream. Is the problem. So they might know I'm going to do that. Yeah. Maybe I could send them round 22 FCMG. Oh wait, I just leaked, because I... Oops. Is Angry Worms account permabanned or suspended? I think it might... I think it's possible to be unbanned. I'm not sure. Thoughts on Tackle Village? It's pretty good on Star, but that's the only map where I bring Tackle Village on. Star is really the only map that I think you should use it on. No, uh, it's probably pretty likely my opponent has Dartling Druid Village AKQ, which means they have Life Rejuvenation. Oh, I just leaked more anyways, so they have the life advantage on me anyways. It's fine, though. Can't have DVD because you didn't make a video in a while. True. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter if, they, if I leak more because they have life advantage. I'm not sure if DVD even defends round 40. It does. I've used it plenty of times.
I think they I think I die first. Yeah. Oh well. I didn't want to go around fifty. It's fine. I should have brought farm anyways. I don't know why I brought village instead of farm. Farm is better anyways. I probably would have been able to kill them if I had farm. And I can survive round 40. The problem there is that I don't know if my opponent has Druid or Super Monkey, but my opponent knows what my loadout is, or they have the ability to know what my loadout is, because they can see my stream. So if I knew they had Druid or uh, Super Monkey, I would have played that game totally different if I knew what their loadout was from the start. So I'm in a big disadvantage there. Because you play completely different based on which of those two towers they have. Why is clan so dead right now? Uh, there's not really a point to play them, for the most part. Like if I knew my opponent had Super Monkey, for example, I would have just over defended early game. And not leaked anymore and maintained my life advantage, but... And if I knew they had Druid from round one, I would have just not leaked a single life round one. Or, like, stop my eco to not leak a single life round one, but I didn't know. You know? But my opponent on the other hand, other hand can know what I'm bringing. Because I have my stream going. So it's just a huge... Limiting factor. Unfortunate. Who in chat is highest in Hall of Masters? I don't know. Is Fate Weaver available already? No. Fate Weaver will be coming in like one day. Uh, I highly doubt that you're correct. Emil Plane. Even if they're not watching during the entire stream, it's very common for people just to pull up your stream for a second, even on like a, especially on a Dino Graveyard game, to see what your loadout is, because you get a massive advantage off that. I think that's extremely likely. Hi Ryan, how's it going Madison? Uh, I don't even get my um, boat here, I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, I, th I think most people check stream. And Jaius does it for sure. Okay, merchant. You go that strut every time, though? No, I don't. 
I normally go Dortling super super farm instead of village. I literally proved during one of my streams that he was stream sniping me. And Jairus does snipe during streams if he's not streaming himself. Or like watch you during this watch you during the when he's playing you. I think he also admitted to it. Yeah, probably at some point. Does everyone play the same strategy on this map? Yeah, this is the most popular strategy on this map, by far. that hmm we're fine Um, should brush them probably. Anton again. Insane game, dude. Thank you. Blade. No, I'm just not going to keep track anymore. No point. If I'm not even going for a leaderboard position. Can it be worth if it giving up a Monkey Wall Street round 24 for a Banana Central round 25 versus round 26? Um, sometimes it could be worth, but depends on your loadout as well. Because if you go for a Banana Central round 25 or round 26, it often can be force sold from DDT rushes. So you have to have a loadout that defends DDTs for cheap to do something like that. Were you grind for top one next season? Probably not. It's not worth it.
Boomer Quinn City Space Decoy. Probably going Boomer to farm. How many of your opponents are are subscribed to you? I don't know. I, have, I, I don't know. I have no clue. There's no way to track that, really. Hi, Ryan. How's it going, Adam? How are you doing today? Come on. Better cross about to go for S mines using bass. I had a bit of an argument guy popology about it. It depends when you're getting your super mines. If you get your super mines on round 28, you want to get the bottom path on your super mines. If you get it round 29 or round 30, you want to get middle path. Most of the time I end up getting bottom path, but it's situational. Give us on last. Do I get? I don't think I get two eco boosts here because they're anti stalling. I might get one more eco boost. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. Nope. I got it up the split second. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I did not get my merchantman income that I'm relying on. I get this up. Keep it on close. Opponent dies to yellows. They have Quincy. And they have tower boost available. Uh, I don't know why they're yellow rushing me. I've got Churchill. Interesting rush. I'm gonna try force tower boost on their end. Yeah. But you normally don't want to start with a uh, a bionic on this map. This is a map where it's better to start with a what's it called? A ricochet. Yo, what's up, everyone? How's it going, Yasar? Yo, how's it going, Lumisade? How are you doing today? Why do I have a... Yeah, we got the alt buff up. Keep this one on strong. And eh, last actually will work for this alchemist targeting. Should work out pretty well. No zero three two boat? No. If I went for a zero three two boat to be up here, but it's not that strong on this map. You can normally get that up against like a re-rushes. I won't just buy it up willy-nilly. Alright, that's GG.
Nice defend, thank you. Nice work, soldier. Monkey Pirates goes crazy. Can you make a video about your setup? There's nothing that crazy about my setup. Um, I mean, if it was a bait rush uh, Emil, I probably would have just had cannon ship with Alpha if I wouldn't went for a whole monkey pirates. There's nothing that crazy about my setup. I can show you it. I've posted about it before on my um, community tab. Here, where is it? This is my setup. It looks a little bit different now because I've got like LEDs in the back and some other stuff, but it's pretty similar to this. Two desks, two monitors, mic arm. That's basically the gist of it. Computer on the carpet? No, I have, I have a I have a wood slab under my computer now. It used to be on the carpet, but I fixed it. What's up? How's it going, Crystal Bear? How's it going, T-Truth? How you doing today? Hope you're having a great day, Ryan. Yo, how's it going, Zach? I hope you're having a great day as well, dude. Pretty well. How are you, Ryan? I'm doing pretty good. Restart queue, maybe. Von Gato. Von Gato. Okay. Let's go Sentai Churchill. With NG Spike Factory Farm. I don't use Sentai Churchill enough, and it might be better with this loadout. Because the level 10 ability helps out a ton for ZMGs. How do you know when your opponent is going to rush you? Game sense. Terrified, will Mortar still be good after nerf? Um, it'll still be probably good. It's just gonna be a lot worse. It's gonna be worse by a decent bit. Thoughts on NG nerf? I think NG deserved to be nerf. I think the NG nerfs were good. In my opinion. Okay, we'll place this entire right here. There we go. Yeah, Sentai Churchill struggles a little bit on the first couple, more more on the first couple rounds than normal Churchill. So I'm gonna leak a lot more. Like normal Churchill here, I probably would be at 150 lives right now. But the advantage of Sentai is it's a lot better in some of the later rounds than normal Churchill. Both go, they're going farm as well. Okay, so they're both going farm here. Why do you have a de gear decal on your balloons? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
Don't forget to like the stream, my guys. Yes, like the stream indeed. Give the stream a big like. Let's go for greater production. What kind of music do you like? Um, mix. Rap, R&B, hip-hop. Mainly. What I listen to. I like and sub. Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you, brother. All right, they got zero to do everything up. They're good on their side. Increase production. Two dartlings. They are over defending. They do not need that much defense. They are spending so much money on defense, especially when you have Gwendolyn as your hero. They're playing like they have been as their hero. What up, Brian? How's it going? Cool, bro. I live in Libya. It's Ramadan. How long does Ramadan last for? That is a Darling spot. Yeah, Darling is not necessarily the best on this map. Not necessarily the best on this map. 32 days, I think. Is that the correct spot? I think normally placed a little bit more to the left, like over here. Or it would be like over here on their side. Is where I've seen it placed, which I think is slightly better. Okay, plantation. Wait, they went for a plantation there and as well. Okay, there we go. Forced to farm cell. You excited for the new door? I am. The new door is going to be great. How much XP do you have? I have enough for the new door, I'm pretty sure. I can check after this game though. But I'm, I think I've got enough for it. If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. What are those darling spots? I don't know, bro. Most of the time I use super, I use uh, Gwendolyn King Vaughn. You had like 60k. And yeah, I think you need 40k. No camo? My Sentai Churchill, it's camo. But I can buy Cleansing Foam if they camo rush me. Or use Churchill level 3 ability. Ryan, what is the meta strat for Hom? It depends on the map, Alex. There's a lot of um good strategies right now. Varies map to map. Okay, is this gonna be fortified mob? I go for a spike factory. So far, nothing. A 
Let's start saving up for my balloon trap then. Let's also move my farmer next to where my balloon trap will be so it clicks the trap quickly. I remember Snide to do. Are they going for BRF? They are, that's fine. My opponent's eco has got to be pretty bad here, I think. There's no way they have a good eco. They haven't ecoed very much overall. I don't think farmer placement affects placement speed, it does. It does indeed, because your balloon trap won't place another one until it collected the previous one. And having your farmer next to the balloon trap We'll make it collected a lot quicker. So it makes a difference. Is that fortified or unfortified? Unfortified. Um. I really don't know what's the best route to take here. I should go for a mob shredder on our side and hope this defends. With maybe Churchill 3 ability. Let's go. Turbo damage they should defend. Yeah, that defends. I'll stop at 2,750 eco. Be my plan, economy wise. Okay, send in that. Go for spiked mines on our end. Spiked mines, and then we will use Churchill level 10 ability. It will actually boost as well. Just have more spiked mines on the map. Let's use Churchill level 10. Alright, that works out pretty well. And we get my Monkey Wall Street up. Look at that play, bro. The Sentai level 10 with spiked mines is so good. That's such a good combination. Sentai level 10 ability and spiked mines. So strong. That's how you do it. That's re let's overclock this again. We're also gonna send them a fortification ZMG, I think. This is going to be ramped a little bit too. They'll have to spend some money to defend this for sure. Yo, can we just... I don't know why you guys are still arguing about farm versus eco in the chat. What's the point? Is my phone going for a master bomber? No, they went for bads. What's actually better, better farm, eco, and this meta cur curious? Probably farm. Eco is still good on a couple maps, but farm overall is much better. Overall. Considering everything, probably. Are they, they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. They, they need a master bomber, I think. Just because it's ramped. ZMG has so much HP.
What's your favorite tower? Spike Factory or Dartling? Yeah, you can run farms on pretty much every map and it will work out pretty well. And then eco, some maps you're going to just struggle a ton. The only map where farm just like won't work out at all for you is pretty much uh, Balloon Bot Factory. Because the floor is pretty much just counter farm play. But I think every other map in the game farm has some solid loadouts. Solid options. You spend all your monkey money on farmers. I want to see the limit. Where is farmers? I mean, most of the... It goes around 40, or it doesn't even go around 40. It goes like mid-round 30s. If... Bot Factory goes mid-round 30s if both players play optimally, but... 90% of my games on Bot Factory end like before round 20. You can't just take theoretically both players play completely well because that's not how it is. Alright, we're gonna buy some farmers. Black Eco would pay off more in the end. Save money for Adora? Oh, true. True, 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 true. I have, I have enough XP for Adora ult right now, so we're good on Adora XP. How much money have you spent on the game? Uh, Maybe... I bought VIP a couple times when oh the game gosh, came thank out. You for the Twitch Yo! God Lumisade with the five gifted Twitch subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a ton. That puts us closer to my member goal or my Mihalik squad goal. Thank you, oh Lumisage. Gosh, thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, so when the game came out, I bought VIP a couple times. So I probably spent fifteen dollars on VIPs. Oh my gosh. And then I bought the Twitch sub. Club I Access. That's another ten dollars, so like twenty-five dollars. And then I had someone donate to me. And they made me spend their donation on $50 oh of monkey gosh. money. Thank you for the Twitch. So, I appreciate it. In total, it was $75. $25 without the like donation thing. I got $75. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate it. This came in. What do you mean by mortar nerf coming soon? They're nerfing... um. In the next update, which will be coming out in like less than a day, they are nerfing mortar. I'll show you how. Give me a second. They are. Where's mortar? Making the shell shock cost two hundred dollars more expensive. They're. Big one's going to be the same total price because the shell shock changed, so big one stays the same. They're nerfing the decamo pierce of the signal flare. And they're nerfing the um, artillery battery BAD damage for late game. So th there's three mortar nerfs coming in in the next update. Oasis. Go Druid sub farm here. They shouldn't make 400 four mortar cheaper. I find bigger is quite often better.
I remember losing those A bats late game on Russia. Well, yeah, the A bats late game are really strong. Can I join the clan? Uh, I think our clan's full right now, but I'm not really too keen on clans at the moment anyways. The clans are kind of dead right now. Well, the reason you're getting better farms now is because you're using NG in your loadout. Alright. Come I round two farm, which is big. We'd love to see that. I just don't have life. I just don't have the Heart of Vengeance on my Druid. Because they haven't really forced it. Let's get increased production. And we'll get my druid leaks in here in a second. Last. Okay, I'm at 144, so I need to leak down to 64 lives. We'll put this on close for a couple shots just to leak quickly. We got our druid leaks in. We're good. Druid leaks have been acquired. Leaked down to three lives in round 18. True. Well, it's not actually that easy, Jilla, because it's Jericho, so the balloons are going to be enhanced. It's got a lot of camel purple, it's a lot of camel yellows instead of camel greens. Or some leaks on their side with a balloon boost. Yeah, we got them to leak quite a bit with that. It's good. I remember the Jericho, the days when the Jericho guy wasn't around. Yeah, the good old days. No, I'm just kidding. I like. I think Jericho is good for the game, but it definitely is annoying seeing everyone use them. My opponent's leaking a ton more. Yeah, we forced heavy bombs on their side. I'll take it. Yeah, we got them down to like 30 lives, which is nice. How many brambles can you stock before it despawns? There's not a max amount of bram. Well, the brambles have a certain lifetime. It's not like you can only have like three on the map or four on the map. They have a certain lifespan, so I don't know exa exactly know what the lifespan is and the cooldown, but you could do the math to figure it out theoretically. Hey Trolla, complain about Gwyn when he uses Jericho every game moment. Target. 
Brian putting bro on blast. It's annoying hearing everyone complain about Gwendolyn when they use Jericho a ton. It's not only him. Like, both heroes are OP. You can't only complain about one and use the other. I say it fair and square, both of them should be nerfed. And I said that in my update preview video. They nerfed Highwayman appropriately. They nerfed, they didn't nerf Gwendolyn enough in my opinion. And they, they needed to nerf uh, Star Captain. Probably a little bit more. That's what I said, if I remember correctly. Try a ninja farm strategy. I could go like ninja elk farm, it's a fun one. We'll see. I do like ninja elk farm quite a bit. I'm gonna need to buy um reactor on my submarine here soon. The AI balloons start to become an issue pretty soon here for me. boost this. Ninja Elk Farm with Ocean Oben or Churchill? Ocean Oben. Is the hero used with that loadout? Boost trees here in a second. Perfect. Crap. This is... Just boost this. Yes. Why'd I go for a farm? Boost. We'll cash this out. Leak some of these. Yeah, we're good. Not even close. Nice one, Ryan. Thank you. Calculated. Calculated indeed. Not even close. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. Why did we just leak exactly? Because I calculated it, bro. Calculated 
Accumulations. What do you say is better? Mad Flying Fortress or Avatar of Wrath? Yes. Um, ignoring cost? Well, why would you ignore cost? But yes. Flying Fortress, probably. I don't understand why you'd ignore cost. Makes no sense to me. I'm waiting. That's it. Here's my cash. BFP. Handle it. A little bit unfortunate I had to do that, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I think Ryan's in a decent position. I wanted a first strike. I didn't have enough money for the first strike, Jilla. I think I needed to cash out my cash out my nomics for it. I could have first strike the DT, but I didn't cash out the nomics. I was like a, I was like a couple dollars off. Send two BFBs? Okay. I got you with Mir. Was I supposed to space them out more? Probably. Anti BD brambles in the back. I think this is GG. If he starts first striking the normal F bad down, I'll send another F bad. A second. After I make some more farm income. One more crate. Yep. They're DDT countering me. And we have a full life buff super storm. Boost now. It's a GG. <clears throat> oh, 
That was a fun one. That almost got through, Ryan. You should be more careful. It didn't really almost get through. The BAD sandwich, just too strong. Do you think you'll ever get first in the world again? Maybe, if I grind for it, but it takes it's too much work. Uh, 052 Druid is uh, better, wait no. Uh, 052 is better for damage over 250, but you normally get 250 for DDTs. Uh, I mean, you're still not going to pop it with Eliminator with Mirror. Eliminator doesn't do near enough damage with just the projectile itself to pop a normal BAD. He did have Eliminator, by the way, on this side. Plus, it was round, it was like round 32. So, it was ramped. Extra. The Eliminator can pop a normal BAD with like the ability with it, but just the main projectile doesn't do enough. Okay, I'm at 146. What if the bat had lead and purple properties? Imagine. No, the limb's not that bad. It's definitely worth to get late game with bomb sub farm. But it does get carried by first strikes late game. I need to get down to 66 lives for a max druid buff here. 66 is the magic number. Oh, did I over eco? Get a farm down, please. No, I didn't get the banana. Dang it. Yes. I wanted that banana, bro. Okay, we got our max druid buff up. Super village would be magically be meta. True. Okay, they got their bionic up. Nicely done. They should make a noob DDT with purple properties. A new DDT with purple properties would be crazy. Super Monkey no longer defends DTs. Have you stream on Twitch? Yeah, I'm live on Twitch um, and YouTube. Will be worth over where people just switch to Star Captain? Are you saying after the update? I think a lot of people will just go Star Captain now after the update. Star Captain is so extremely strong right now. And they did extra nerfs to Highwaymen over him. So I don't see why not. Power boost this. Yep. They got mortar. Okay. Send some regions. I think they're dead. Oh, do they clutch up? 
I made them sell pretty much all their farms there as well. Fedora main? You guys calling the new hero Fedora now? Fate, Fate Weaver Adora? Fedora? Brian, do you have a score goal? Not really. Not really, I'm just kind of just playing. I'll just get top 10 or whatever with whatever I do for the most part. I guess I could try to get top five. I'm like only 40 score away. I didn't realize I was that close because uh, Angry Worms got flagged. Will you do a toe review on 50k subs? Of course. Angry Worm stole all my elo, then got flagged. Yeah. He also stole all of esports elo, funny enough. Why did Angry Worms get flagged? Oh, do we have to go through this again? Bro was bro definitely was not here at the start of the stream, huh? What is flagged? What is boosted? What is elo? No, I was late. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go through this whole spiel again. What is the meaning of life? Can you live off streaming on YouTube or do you have a job? My, uh, streaming on YouTube is my current job, Gan, Gan half. Um, I can live on it. Um, I would say I'm not wealthy, but I can live off of it. What is up? Yeah, how's it going, Fedora? How are you? How are you doing today? You play Adora, Super Heli, and Alk. Maybe if I get a longer map, I'll play it. Why not just make as much money as Mr. Beast? You're right. Why don't I just make as much money as Mr. Beast from YouTube? I never thought of that. That's like a great idea. The Peleg way. We'll go Adora. What Adora strategy? Uh, someone was saying, I'll just call, I'll just call the strategy they're saying. Highly Alchemist Super Monkey. Ryan literally makes billions. I do. Literally. Last to stop playing Battles 2 wins $10,000. Ten second version of Angry Worms. Uh, Esport was playing Angry Worms over and over again and intentionally losing to boost his whole of Master's ELO. And then they both got flagged, which is basically being banned uh, temporarily or for an unknown amount of time from it. So he's off the leaderboard. That's the short version. Thanks for the update, no problem. Yeah, I can check after stream, Fedora. Battles 2 would be a better place if it just kept one player banned. The problem is... Well, one, they definitely should do IP bans, especially to people who have banned multiple times, like eSport. But the problem is IP bans don't even stop it because they'll just use a VPN. So it's pretty difficult to just keep one player banned if they just take all the measures to like get around it. If the player just does everything to get around it. You can't really do that. But I agree. The world would be a better place. Battles 2 would be a better place. But it's not as easy as it sounds.
I think I'll go for my alt buff like right here. Where I'll have my alchemist. I'm trying if I'm trying to learn one strat and run on maps, what strat? Um there isn't really a strategy you can run on every single map in the game. There's maps like ports and flexion stuff that kind of stop that from being a reality, but a strategy you can run on a lot of maps and probably I wouldn't even I don't even know what I'd say to that to be honest. I don't know how I'd answer that. What strategy it would be? Okay. Let's not, let's stop leaking a million lives, please. A door, can you actually do something? I don't know if we're cooking with this one, chat. I have quite a bit of money in defense and I'm still leaking a lot. A lot. Um, probably YouTube vids in total. Wait, I'm sending greens. I meant to be sending yellows. No, I was holding the wrong key bind. That's a oopsie moment. I just sent greens instead of yellows. Okay, let's get a razor rotoring on our end. You just lost 30k by around 30, true. Yeah, I think that would have been the best play. I don't really like the idea of banning Angry Worms from it, because I'm still not entirely sure if, like, he was, he, I don't think he was asking Esport to do it, but he wasn't, like, stopping Esport from doing it, so, kind of like, a, I just think they should remove the score he got from it. Would have been a better play for Ninja Kiwi. Remove the boosted score and ban Esport is what I would su probably have suggested them to do. I think would have been the best decision from Ninja Kiwi. The banning Angry Worms as well. Angry Worms getting banned is slightly unfair, I agree, yeah. I think it's slightly unfair. Let's get stronger stem. This should alt buff my door too, which actually the alt buff to door is pretty good because it shoots a lot of projectiles and with the level 3 ability, it can be quite effective. So this, the way I have my placements, it'll prioritize the alt buff on the heli, which is what I want, but it'll also alt buff the door sometimes, which is good. So that's exactly how I want it to be placed. I think I've got my placements down pretty nicely. Let's get my, um... We'll keep this guy on strong now, I think. Let's get my rubber to gold action here. Did they just stop ecoing? Hello, Ryan, how's it going? How are you doing today? Any brothers or sisters? I have a brother and a sister. Both of them are older than me. Both are older than me. Okay, they just full stopped their eco when I got the rubber gold up, so I'm not really gonna make much money from it. I guess that's fair though, because they are they're also gonna kind of struggle a little bit money wise on their end without very much eco, so. The two way street. What did they just sell? They sell my heli? Oh no, place! No pursuit is Oh my gosh, I hate how when you buy Pursuit, it automatically puts it on Pursuit. That's the dumbest thing in the entire game. Why does my heli automatically go to Pursuit mode when I buy it? It makes that upgrade worse than useless. Actually the dumbest upgrade in the game.
Now, the one downside here is that my alchemist won't hit a lot of the Jericho balloons because they're camo, and I don't have, like, ninja in my loadout, for example, which will, um, which would decamo the eye balloons for my alchemist to hit them. But my ninja alk is pretty good, one of the reasons, because you can decamo balloons for your rubber to gold. Okay, I actually think my lead to gold hit, like, none of those leads. That was really cool. Good job, lead to gold. Good job, lead to gold. You did a really good job there. What level is this? Level 8? Okay. Uh, we'll use the door level 3 ability here. And we'll get down draft up. Hopefully this is enough to defend AI. I think this is. Enough to defend. Yeah, we're good. Okay, two eco boosts, and I get a support chinook up. One eco boost. What even killed Bodo's farm? Was it Novik? Novik's cooldown nerf? Yeah, it was Novik's cooldown nerf. Bodo's farm still wasn't like a crazy good strategy before. It was only used on Star and Sands of Time, and pretty much only that super good, only decently good on Sands of Time, or I mean, decently good on Star. But the Novik's nerf was enough to throw it over the edge and make it kind of stop being good loadout. Okay, we're sending them uh, zebras this round. Try to stall the round out a little bit, maybe. Get some balloons through the trap, hopefully. And it didn't really work. That's fine, though. Is Icicle Impale good, Ryan? Icicle Impale? It's alright. Not bad. Let's get this one on lock in place. So I stole the rounds with it. They went for a middle of round 24 Monkey Wall Street. Not end of round, which is interesting. When is Mortar getting nerfed, Ryan? After the season ends. So Mortar will be getting nerfed, like, in a little bit. In like 12, in like 16 hours. You get a lot of viewers on YouTube, Ryan? Thank you. Or, uh, not thank you, I mean, um, yeah, I know, it's pretty epic. I wouldn't be able to do this as a job if I didn't get a lot of viewers. I think we just use a bowl of light here, right? This should defend the BFB. Now, my eco is pretty trash here. This is why you don't typically go eco strategies on this map, because the rounds get anti-stalled, which is not exactly what you want. Uh, I should stop my eco, by the way. It's round 26. We'll just focus on heli farms. But you can fit a lot of helis. It doesn't matter if I can fit a lot of helis because I'm not going to have money to fit a lot of helis. Since I'll stop, I'll stop my heli farming like round 28, round 29. So I'm not going to be able to make use of the space because they're just going to send me round 30. The anti stall matters a lot more than the heli space. Um, are we region farming this stuff? I think we're good. I can get a... Let's use a door level 3. Let's use bold light as well. Just to play it safe. I don't like how much those balloons are pushing. Yeah, I need to level up my Adora somehow. Hmm. I sacrifice stuff I'm going to sell anyways. So I'm going to sell my Razor Rotors anyways. So we sacrifice that. Okay. We got some Adora levels out of that.
Let's upgrade this to Parma Brew. We'll sacrifice this stronger stimulant. I don't need that anymore. What level is it now? 16? Okay. I think I'm just gonna die a late game, probably. I don't think I have money to defend, but we're gonna try my best. Obviously. Try my hardest. Hi Ryan, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing today? And we're gonna sacrifice my rubber to gold. Let's move this over here. What level is a door? 19? Okay, so it's actually leveled up quite a bit. Um, if they keep not sending me, I'm going to go for a couple more heli farms, I guess. I should have went for more heli farms to begin with, probably, but... I thought that he would be sending me around 30, so... They don't send me yet. I guess go for more heli farms. I don't think I'll be able to offend though, I'm too poor is the problem. I didn't mean to go for a Dark Knight there. Mm. Okay, I think I'm dead. Mm. I need boost back, I need boost back. I'm dead, DTs. Wait. DTs. Boost! Boost! Come back! I might have a chance. I'm dead. The DTs. Dang it! Ah. DT. No, I can't tech terror there. Mawo, tech terror would have been a throw. I'd have to sell like three sun avatars to tech terror, and then I get stuck micro and tech terror and just have a lot less DPS. Tech terror would have been a throw. Why no temple? Temple's not worth. I don't have any support sacrifice, Crunker. Without support sacrifice, Temple is not worth at all. There. Yeah, the the best thing would have been there is just not. I need. I didn't heli farm near enough. I thought they were gonna rush me round thirty, so I stopped my heli farms early. But if I didn't stop my heli farms early, I would have had a lot more money for that defense. That's just not a very good map for that loadout overall, is the, 
main thing too. But you get blowback. The spending spending over a hundred K on a temple for blowback, I would have had like three sun avatars. <laughs> it just wouldn't have been good. I wouldn't have had any DPS. Most consistent stream viewer is? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Attack Ninja Farm. Probably shouldn't go with Highwayman Jericho, but we're going Highwayman Jericho with it. What's up, Ryan? How's it going, Julian? Also, I just placed my attack in a bad location. Ninja DKMO is the GOAT. True. Ninja DKMO goes crazy. Wow, you hit all the blades. It's a little bit better to place it up here. This spot hits all the blades, but it uh, hits them more consistently in a better manner. When is the subathon happening? Uh, it will be happening during the summer. Is when the next subathon will happen. How good do you think Super will be next patch? Probably much worse. Without the support. Sacrifice giving damage, it's going to be a big problem for it. I got a farm down. I wonder how good the new door is going to be. I think it's going to be pretty solid. I heard there's going to be a creator code charity thing going on starting next season. Yes, I will make an announcement about it when that happens. There is going to be something like that. I'll, I'll announce it in a video. Please, I need a subathon. You need it, bro. Um, Still no white balloons, so I don't need blade shooter yet. Should upgrade the farm a little bit. I get blade now. First. Strong. Subathons are necessary for survival. True. What's the best way for me to s defend um yellows with the slowdown? Oh, I need steel. I don't know how long I had the steel available. Probably just a hot shot with this. I don't know. They're probably gonna send me yellows. I think they have eco. Cause I'll be going for the ring of fire anyways. No yellows? Easter subathon, I'm off for two weeks. <laughs> no, bro, I can't. I don't wanna do two subathons too often. I gotta keep them sep uh, special. You think Fedora is going to be the best hero? Fedora? What about right here for the Ring of Fire? I like this spot. What is the subathon? Mim uh, marathon stream. Same thing as a marathon stream. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. We're good. Reactor? Um... 
Yeah, I'm a little bit off. Do you like BT Battles 1 or BT Battles 2 better? I like Battles 2 better. Yeah, the last one lasted like four days. Like when people donate more for time on the clock, yeah. Um, Poland's about to die. Okay, they cross path the reactor. I don't know what they're cooking. Battles one players on their way to like 140 lives to get one extra banana from a farm. True. Yo, how's it going, Justin? How are you doing today? How much eco do I go for this game, guys? How much eco? Give me some numbers. Let me know. Spike factory. Boomer sub spike factory. Get two, two, three, two, zero ninjas? No. 8k, 1750, 1.5k. They send me mobs. I'll probably go for a sprayer over here. Might do 1.5. They went double long life. What is this guy doing, bro? This guy hasn't ecoed since like round 13 as well. Their eco's gotta be like 700 or 800. Bones eco is definitely pretty low. All out round 22 probably. This strategy is actually pretty good against round 22 all outs. Semi fortified mobs, I'll probably go for sticky. A sticky icky. They don't, I'm gonna go for a farm. I thought that would just work, bro. The stun did it not do enough? I guess I need to boost. I thought the stun with the ring of fire would just pop the ceramics. I'll be honest. The Roth did not Roth, bro. How did the ring of fire not pop those, bro? What? I had them stunned. Was the Roth cross path? Yeah, the ring of fire was cross pathed with the bottom cross path. I thought the ring of was enough to be honest. Yeah, I, I thought it was enough as well. I never seen that. I I've never seen that as well. It was stunned with a cross path ring of fire, and the ring of fire just did not do its job. What was that, bro? What was that, bro? And then we're just gonna skip cove. Castle runes. Dartling ninja farm. Feel nature's wrath. Ring eats ceramics like candy. You legit got sold. That's what I'm saying, bro. I got sold. Ring of fire sold. I don't think Azealia's buff's unremarkable. I think the buff to uh, Wizard's Pierce is pretty big. Plus two Pierce on the Wizard early. It's level two that you get it to, so your Wizard early game is going to be like much better. They got bunny ears open. Could Smudge DNA be viable next season? Uh, they're slightly buffing Smudge, I think, but I don't know. Maybe. 
I think it'd probably just be better with um Benjamin Villa. Most likely. Go for my pat. Necro should be on average 30% stronger. How would it be 30% stronger on average? I don't see how you get that, but that'd be pretty crazy if it gets 30% stronger. I don't see how you come up with those numbers though. Put on first. The faster barrels for my darling. Last. Man manage leaks a little bit. Yeah, we're good. Why Pat? Why not? You'll see some tech I'm gonna use. Average pierce of a zombie balloon is 6.5. Two more pierce makes it 8.5, which is 30% more. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Okay. That actually is a pretty big difference then. I'm gonna go for powerful darts here. Oh, is my opponent dead? They boost. Okay. And they get lightning. And Winston is barking like crazy. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. My opponent's fine now, though, with the boost and everything. Is Pat underrated? No, Pat's not very good right now. But there is some cool um, tech you can use with this strategy with Pat, which you'll see. There's a cool, um, there's a cool technique you can do. Cool technique. Increase production. Greater production. All right, I've been watching the CS2 PSPGL Major. I have been watching the Major. I'm really excited for the playoffs that are be starting soon. Of course, I've been watching it, Lumisade. Another farm. We'll go for a ninja, believe it or not, guys. Right here. Right here. Inside of Pat's range. We got three farms down. Have you ever played Valorant? I have played... Uh, actually, no, I have not played Valorant. I've, I've seen... I've watched Valorant before. I have some friends who have played it. I've been watching March Madness, Ryan, a little bit. A little bit of March Madness here and there. Get flash bomb up, and then we can use pad ability, which will double the damage of my flash bomb if he rushes me. And we'll keep pad on strong. They don't rush me. Oh yeah, I think I think Spirit will win as well. That's who I have in my pickums. Donk is just crazy. If they don't rush me, then I'm just gonna go for a Well, I am gonna slowly get overridden by Black Blue Nico and stuff, because I'm not using the abilities, but we're gonna go for a plantation here. Yeah, these are these leads are actually gonna be a problem for me, aren't they? Because they full block my dartlings. Let's use pad ability. With pad ability I should be fine. And now I've just got to save up for my Hydro Rocket Pods here. But we did get some nice greed out of the Flash Bomb, which is always good. We got nice greed out of it. Put some first. And 
Necromancer has 2 to 11 pierce, not 8. No, so what they said is Necromancer's pierce is 6.5 on average. And with the um with the buff from Azili, Necromancer's pierce will change to 8.5 on average. Which is a 30% buff or something. It's pierce. So Necromancer will be a lot stronger with Azili after the update. Pat sucks as level 3 ability range is tiny. Yeah, level 3 Pat's level 3 ability range is pretty small. How do you have better farms than them? Because I greeted a lot with the flash bomb. Knock it back, please, Pat. Okay, Pat did not knock it back, but we're good. Are they going to send me another Moab? If they do, I can get a Dartling here and I can buff my Dartling damage with Pad. I'm going to send them some Zebra Balloons. So then they don't try to leak. Because they... Okay, I guess they Tower Boost. No, they still didn't get leaks then. The Zebras blocked it. That's good. Is DK Mo Ninja legit then? I tried using a Paranoid. Yeah, DK Mo Ninja kind of works. It's, it's pretty expensive to get DK Mo Flash Bomb, but it can work situationally well. I've experimented with it a little bit. Round 20. I keep farming. I think I'll go to like 3k eco here. I'll get a pretty solid amount of eco. Three K should be pretty respectable. Uh camo rainbow should not really be a problem. These rounds have gotten stalled a lot too, which is why my eco is so high. There's been a lot of stallage. Did I go straight for a banana central? This actually might be a game where it's smart to go straight for a banana central instead of a monkey wall street, because my eco's my money is really good and I have cheap DDT defense with my loadout. Because ninja is very cheap for DDTs, so. This might be one of the games where it's best for me not to go for Monkey Wall Street and just go straight for a central. Okay, we'll probably get the central up round 25. Will probably be the timing on it. Bro said banana cartel. <laughs> Go for banana cartel. True. What is my... They went for a monkey Wall Street at the start of the round? Does bro know how the monkey Wall Street works? That's not a smart decision, because he would have made more farm income. Dude, he's dead. No, he's not. He actually timed that well. Nicely done. But they would have made more farm income if they just kept their other farms up and then sold it at the end of the round for the monkey Wall Street. Twenty-three K. It's like twenty-seven K. So I need like thirty-nine for this. There we go. We're good. Banana Central, ladies and gentlemen, with 3,000 eco. Please do Easter Subathon, I beg. <laughs> Bro, I can't. 
I'm celebrating Easter with my family on Sunday anyways. They're gonna send me DTs. If they do, I sabo. What about after Easter subathon? Bro, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, brother. I, my next subathon will be in the summertime. Summer subathon. How do you defend group DTs? Master Bomber. Sometimes double sticky bomb with um, Sabotage can defend some DTs as well. But against big rushes, I just get Master Bomber. Doesn't seem like they're sending me anything though. So we'll keep farming. My farms are pretty solid, I'd say. I've definitely got a nice out farm. Why not Monkey Wall Street? BRFs are better. Until you're out of farm space, then you get a Monkey Wall Street up. Can you fit two farms here? I don't think so. Wait, I saw it. You can. W. W placement. If they send me a BAD, I actually want to test the Grandmaster Ninja against it. With shirt with Caltrops. Against a BAD rush. I want to see how good this thing is. Because I'm pretty sure the Grandmaster is actually like crazy good right now. And then we'll get Master Bomber versus the insides. And I can also pat buff my Grandmaster with how my placements are. Which will help it out. I can, I can pat... The level 3 damage buff to it. You are slightly out farming him? Yeah, I think I've got a slight out farm going on right now. It's, it's pretty close on farms. Why are you using Fat Monkey as hero? Why not? Master Bomber? Okay. I mean, I'll have to send them eventually. They seem to not... Guess who made it to home after this? Congratulations, Semino. Congratulations to make it to home. I knew you could do it. That's what I'm talking about. Pat should squeeze bads. How is Pat only level 14, bro? Why does this guy level up so slow? How are you only level 14? Bro, what? But one three zero can? Uh, I don't 
think so. I don't think so, Jilla. Maybe they need to change his XP leveling curve. Yeah, he leveled up so slow. Alright. Are they gonna counter me? Or no? They are. Alright, send him some. Let's use Pout ability. Let's use ba Mod ability. Oh, we should be able to shred this. Pretty easily. Maybe go for one more sticky bomb. We've already popped one. Wait to pop another and then we use Pat Squeeze. Pat Squeeze. Sabo. Oh, they didn't even get close to defending mine. And we're shredding theirs. Dorotlin Ninja Farm OP. OP. GG. Pat is just the better hero. I think that's what we've decided. Pat's the best hero in the game from that game. What's your stats? What do you mean my stats? On what? Pat was level 20. He could uninstall BT Bros 2 from the opponent's PC. True. Who let him cook? That's what I'm saying, bro. Who let him cook? Go bomb mortar heli. Brian, will we ever see you have this? Nah, bro. Never. Did you win? No, I lost. New challenge by Pat level 20. Use Pat level 20 challenge. Impossible edition. Pat needs some massive nerfs to his leveling speed, dude. Pat levels up so quickly, it's crazy. Yo, Ryan, boy, wait, what's up? Yo, how's it going, Aryan? Make it like Churchill. I think Pat has the same leveling curve as Churchill. Micro Pat level 20 all over the place, true. They boosted. They leaked still. I think they're trying not to leak with the boost. Wait, did they not leak? Oh, they didn't leak. I, I leaked. That's what the first blood thing was. Alright, we made them leak. Perfect. Let's get Striker Jones down. Oh, I put Striker Jones where I put my second bomb shooter. That was not a good Striker Jones placement. It's not where I want him. So he's going Ninja Elk Sniper. It's the loadout of my opponent. Ninja Elk Sniper. This is not a good, this is not a good Striker Jones spot. Ever think about adding a new type of monkey towers? I think after two years they should add new towers to the game. I mean, they add new towers to BT6 quite often, but... I don't know, adding a new type would be huge. I think they'll probably just wait to add new types and like big chunks of stuff for like when they ever, whenever they release BT7. Why is star so rare these days? I don't know.
Dude, this Striker Jones spot is so bad. Okay, it actually doesn't get blocked right there on first. Because it when it shoots downwards into this obstacle, it just doesn't hit any balloons. That's the problem. They go for a second elk. That defend. It looks like it kind of does. Fair enough. The backup striker's cannon should do damage. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool too if that was a thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, how do we just leak a million lives out of nowhere? Get him to 50k subs, true. True that. Paragons. Faster reload. Crap, an enemy sent pinks. I like the part when Ryan said striking time and striked all over the place. I did not say that. Or do that, Daniel. So. Sorry, bro. Ryan said it's striking time and striked all over the place. I should not be sending them black balloons into the rubber to gold. Oops. So they'll probably have me out moneyed because they have rubber to gold and they've got sniper farms. But I have the life advantage. Leave the obstacle for more damage? No, it's not better to leave the obstacle. You want to remove it. I made two accounts and subbed with both. Nice. Good work. What do you mean, Kar? I'm not gonna remove any part of my body. Why don't you put your mortar a bit higher on the bend? I could. Right there. Not a bad idea. When his uh, rubber gold's not firing, I'm sending zebras for a little bit more eco. this. 
That's fine. I'm fine using a boost against that. He's in some region rainbows behind, so it's a decent sized rush. Alright, let's get my heli farm up. And we'll go for another heavy farm here. If I fit three, I can. Nice. <clears throat> the poor Chinook. Boomer on its way to be the best and worst tower at the same time. Place these very precisely. Well, people don't want to admit when they stream snipe aimer, so I mean, and why would they do that? Let's get another highly farm up. We just stole the CMG for a long time with our Striker Jones and our Bulb Shove. The Port Chinook. Good. Easy defense. Move these right there. Let's lock these in place. Keep highly farming. They sent me a choke DDT, that's fine. Let's 
start spamming mortars. And we'll save up for Balloon Crush against this. Pretty soon. Alright, Balloon Crush has been bought. We should be good against this. Heli farms here. The annoying part is they're gonna have a lot more money than me because you can fit a ton more sniper farms than heli farms. Like substantially more. Send one F bad? Nah, it's not worth. All he needs to do against an F bad is get total transformation crippled. And he has plenty of time to get that. His he can defend F bads really easy with e easily with their loadout, Ninja Elk and farm. Or Ninja Elk and Sniper. Defends F bads really easily. Can I fit any more mortars without selling helis? Maybe if I move this. There we go. The incineration. Do you think you can win? I'm not sure. They have sub they have like ton more money than me. This is the only pro is the big problem here. A lot, a lot more money than me. Are we getting a balance change videos? I've already made a balance change this video. Sound is annoying. I'll turn it down a little bit.
Come on. I need my Striker Jones ability back. I need my Striker Jones ability back. I'm dead. I'm dead. I needed a micro striker Jones. I needed a micro him. That's the only way I can defend that. The whole dang it, bro. That's definitely defendable was the annoying part. The whole reason I lost is because I sent him. If I didn't send if I didn't send him BADs, I would have had my money to micro my striker Jones. He had too much money, no. The reason the problem is I didn't have enough money. If I didn't send them any BADs, I would have had money to micro my Striker Jones and I would have defended. Sending him was the whole problem. Striker is bugged, Crunker Prime. That's also a big reason I didn't defend it. I don't get artillery battery abilities um off cooldown. I only can use the artillery battery ability with the Striker Jones level 10. If my stri if Striker Jones wasn't bugged, I also would have defended that. So I guess there's two reasons why I didn't defend it. Striker Jones being bugged is the main reason. Why didn't she use Biker? Striker's still better than Biker, even with the bug. But yeah, not sending them BADs there would have been... is the If I didn't send them BADs, I would have been able to defend, because they would have had money. And the Striker Jones bug also is the big reason why I didn't defend. Both of those... What's the Striker Jones bug? Your artillery batteries are, are supposed to get their ability back off cooldown. Like, just on off their normal cooldown. But the problem is it's bugged currently where if you use the Striker Jones level 10 ability, you don't get your normal artillery battery abilities. So, I was using like 30% less artillery battery abilities than I should have been using due to the bug. If I was able to use all the artillery battery abilities that is intended to be used, then I would have defended that. But... That's just how the game is, I guess. Very annoying. If you want, if you you can look back at the defense. I after I built up all my artillery batteries, I wasn't getting any abilities off cooldown from my artillery batteries, which you should you're supposed to be getting the, the abilities off cooldown. But also, I still would have been able to defend. I just didn't. I just sent them BADs, which was dumb. If I didn't send them BADs, I would have had money to micro my Striker Jones. They said it was fixed. It was not fixed. If you watch the defense, you can see that the Striker Jones bug was not fixed. I did not get any of my artillery battery abilities off cooldown throughout that entire defense. It will be fixed next season. Which Mortar late game is going to be bad next season anyways because they're reducing the damage. No, it doesn't it doesn't work, True Dart Monkey, I'm sure. I'm sure that's still bugged. What? 
next season meta predictions? I don't know. I think Fate Weaver Adora might find its way in the meta. But I don't... Ninja is going to be really good next season. Ninja Alk is going to be super good. Especially with the ninja buffs. I don't know why they buffed Ninja's Pierce. But, yeah, Ninja is going to be really good. Okay, they tower boost. That's fine. Yo, how's it going? Yo, Gongoslop. How are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. on strong. Yeah, we're good. Against that rush. Unsubmerge. I want to keep us unsubmerged a lot of the time during the rounds to stall the rounds. Stalling the rounds is the is one of the biggest things for me here to be to be able to win this match. Should buff Intel this update. Should they now? We got our ballistic up. We're just gonna keep unsubmerging and submerging this. Are you trying to stall the rounds? Yeah, that's why I'm unsubmerging it. To let the camos pass a little bit farther. Before I decamel them. for a village here. Okay, there's a Moab. Get a super monkey down. We'll boost this. It's fine. gonna re-rush me? Most likely. Yeah, we're fine. Is it too risky to go for eco-village against him? No, now I, now I can. I had to wait a little bit on it, but now I can go for eco-village. And some zebras towards the end of the round. Okay, they went for an artillery battery, so they were really trying to anti stall with the A bat. Okay. 
Watch out for level 20 pad ability, you're right. Level 20 pad ability is scary. I'm fine. I'm good, I'm good. I want to keep this in the back so I stole all the rounds. My 203 sniper wouldn't have defended, true. What's your dream AR? What do you mean AR? I need one more of these. That's enough for. Yeah, we've got enough of these. Enough of um map support magic military. We have all the sacrifices in line now. I don't know if I'll have enough money for my Sun Temple though, is the thing. I'm pretty broke here. I think I'm too broke. The ant this map, the strategy is not very good on this map because the anti stole is pretty extreme. Maybe I should have went for Monkeyopolis. I probably should have. So Avatar has a lot of pierce, yeah. It does. I'm too broke, I think. I've got to send them. The rounds just get anti-stole too much on this map. Oh, bro's definitely stream sniping. There's no way he knew I was sending a F bad. He waited to send his. That's kind of annoying.
It's all village, I did. Is it gonna pop or no? No! I would've won! I would've won! What did I leak to? I popped it! What did I leak to? What did I leak to? The bad popped! Moabs? How'd I leak to Moabs? That is so unlucky. That's gotta be the most unlucky death, bro. That's crazy. Ceramics from an AI Moab? That's the dumbest thing of all time. Eat Boy sucks, yeah. That's just not a good map for that loadout. It gets anti stalled way too hard. Invisible ceramics. I leaked like right when I used my tech terror too. So that must have just been stupid, super bad timing. Star is a better map for that strat, yeah. The Moab was about to be popped, but the ceramics somehow survived. That's dumb. Let's go. Taklu Village. Yeah, complain about heroes that are worse than the hero you use. Good idea. Yeah, I'll probably use Ninja Alkmore next season. It's on first. They did not go for a round one open, which is interesting. Don't know why. Farmer and a balloon bot. How much is Druid Antistol on this map? Not a crazy amount. Let's get us a glue up. Put this on last. And we'll get Blade Shooter, I guess, pretty soon. Let's actually buy, upgrade this. Do you think they added Fate Weaver to directly counter all the Jerichos? I just don't think it's going to be a huge counter. It's only a 5% ability reduction. But no, I don't think that was the reason.
Blade shooter. We need a hero that counters Jericho. True. Okay, we'll just keep Eco in here. This bot just DC'd me. Who's the bot? Brand vs. Bulltrix, your opponent? Oh, I see. He gives 8 score by the way. Thought it would kind of counter Jericho by popping camo and let early. I guess, yeah. A little bit. The glue gunner right here on last. They need to hurry up and add all the heroes. True. If he sends me round 11 rush, I just go for a glue hose. for a reactor on their end, I think. Why this glue gunner? This glue gunner pops the balloons for me, the glue hose. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good job. Have you guys seen the real bird ninja kiwi I based their logo off of? No. The key bird, but looks like a ninja low key. Let's see. Force tower boost. Are they dead round 13, chat? Or round 16? Ryan v. Boltrix goes down. What's up? Give me a second chat. And speaking about my man Boltrix, he is actually live right now, so we are gonna raid him. So let's copy that and put it in my chat. I'll put it in the YouTube chat as well in a second. I will catch you guys um on on the Bulltrick stream, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys there. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. As always, go get some food. I'm like out. Peace, lads.